Grace Missionary Church. My name is Marcia, and this is my husband, Devrin Robertson, and we are from Canada. And can you tell us the reasons or challenges that brought you here today? My husband has been very sick, and almost everything or every business that we start, it would go back to zero. And uh, we've been uh, struggling financially and physically. Um, he's been unwell for a while, and we came believing God for a miracle. And how has this affected, affected you and also what convicted you to say we are going to cherish missionary church in South Africa? I think my husband will be the best one to answer that question. Truly, I've been watching um, Shavit's ministry for a while, and it is a, it was either one or the other, either um, either TV, either Emmanuel TV, uh, Emmanuel um, Church, or um, Shavit's ministry. And I pray about it, and the Lord um, placed it in my spirit that I should come to service ministry because I really admire these two ministries as ministry that really dear for souls that need to be uplifted. And the fact that you were facing different kinds of challenges and also your husband was unwell, how was it affecting you? When the person you love is unwell, you worry a lot. Um, it doesn't even matter how much faith you have, you are still concerned because they're not able to function to the best of their abilities. And you can, uh, you see, you watch them struggle daily and uh, we had to come. We had to come at this time um, because we needed help. And um, we knew by faith that if we followed the leading of the Lord, he would lead us to a place where help would be offered. And today you saw Prophetess uh, Janice Simone on one on one can you tell us the prophecy she has given unto your lives and also confirm it well first of all she told me about my sickness and that is to confirm that was really true because I not only knew it and uh, spiritual basic but also it was confirmed by um, um, Prophet uh, Genesis and I spoke to Apostle for a short time and the same, the same thing that he said to, to, to me, the same thing he said to um, Prophet Je Genesis and uh, no doubt about what my sickness is all about it's a challenge and I truly believe that what was said, it has been confirmed in my spirit and confirmed naturally.
God has said for you in Canada. And trust me when I say, you will not die until it's The Bible says, he who is standing the good work in you. To bring it to so I said to you, whatever God has in store for you, He has not even started doing it. So please don't stop. You are fine now. I can even ask you, how are you feeling now? Yes, I feel, firstly, I feel like my feet are firm and firm. And now it's yes. firm, you need a firm, it's yeah. trying to yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, because before I said that, I'm giving that one to that, I feel like like you're gonna walk. And how are you feeling? Walk, walk, walk today and come back and tell us how you are feeling. Aren't you much better already? You feel better. Let me ask you this question. She also said that there is ministry in us. And once we have been delivered, because this is a spiritual um, attack, once we've been delivered from the spiritual attack, then we will see things begin to open for us and to prepare for what God had is in store for us. And how are you feeling now that uh, God used the prophetess to speak upon your lives? My mind is more at ease and I, I am hopeful and um, it has increased my faith and I know that if not today, it will be done as the prophetess and the apostle have said. And from here onwards, when you leave this place, what is it that you believe God is going to do in your lives? I believe God is going to empower us to minister to his people and to be a blessing yes. yeah i truly believe that whatever was said to me in terms of ministry because it has been on our heart and we have been called in in ministry um many men and women of God who have approached us to be in uh, a, in a giant our giant ministry with them but we were always thinking about if you are not led by the spirit you cannot go behind because we often felt that without the spirit leading of the spirit we can be in big trouble. So we rather to stay put until the Lord give us permission to move, on, move ahead in our ministry.